Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shime. If you're not, thank you for tuning back in. So if you guys are wondering why I have icy blonde hair, um, I decided to partner up with The Perfect Place Week once again. They sent me one of their latest, one of their most popular on-demand um, hair on their site so today i will be doing a full install in detail for you guys today as per your previous video request so in my last video i just vaguely styled my hair but you guys said you guys want to see a full in-depth install so that's what i'll be doing for you guys today if you guys don't follow me on instagram please make sure to follow me on instagram and yeah stay tuned if you want to see transform into this look Starting off this video by unboxing this package that the, the Perfect Lace Week sent me. Also, if you hear noises in the background, I have the washing machine running as well as my husband is home. So don't mind the noises that you hear in the background. My package arrived, I think yesterday, um, right to my doorstep. It was delivered by DHL. Um, so I am unboxing it right here in front of you guys so we can experience this together. So this is how this is how the packaging looks like. So it says perfect lace wig, professional hair, and affordable price. Um, so this is basically the packaging. So as soon as I oh, oh this is a very bold color, guys. It's very bold. So as soon as I open it, I find the hair piece right at the top. Um, so this is the hair. It's a 22 inch. I see blonde lace front wig. So this is definitely me going out of my comfort zone. Never done anything like this ever. But I actually am excited to see like what kind of looks we can come up with. And then we have two of these um, hair clips. I guess this is to tie back the hair when you're gluing down the lace. And then we have this. I'm not sure what this is. So it looks like a bra strap for us that don't know these things. Um, I think it's maybe just to uh, tighten the wig at the back. Um, that's what I'm assuming. And these to hook the wig into the, your hair so that it doesn't slip off. And then lastly, we have this wig cap, deluxe wig cap, superior quality. Um, so I think. Oh yeah, so it says it's two pieces, so two of these come in one pack. So these look like pantyhose. Um, yeah, this is how they look like. They are pretty similar to my skin color. But obviously if it's not similar to your skin color, you can powder it up with um, foundation or powder. So it comes in this um, plastic sleeve. What do you call this? It's covered in this net um, and it has this paper thing in the middle. So this is the hair guys. Like, oh, the quality of this hair, you guys. Feel this hair and tell me what it feels like. Oh my God. This is what the lace front looks like. So it's all lace in the front here and it has some clippies inside and clippies at the back. So I'm starting off by putting on my wig cap. Make sure that there's no baby hairs. So the wig cap goes a little bit behind where you want your hairline to be. So I am going to be using um, my contour powder. Because this wig cap is really, really light, I'm just gonna use this powder here, this powder here, and then mix it with this a little bit. I'm gonna take my lace wig and then I'm going to do the same on the inside over here. I'm just going to be patting down the inside of the lace like that. 
and now i am going to secure this wig at the back like this just make it make sure it's tight oh my gosh that is different <laughs> oh my gosh guys i look like a whole different person should i dye the roots i feel like i need to dye these roots because this is extremely light it comes with these little baby hairs that you can um, play around with now my objective is to kind of see where i should cut the lace and where i should cut the ears it's usually really far down and you kind of need to cut up like this so i want to make sure that it's even on both sides okay it's pretty much even now and now based on this I'm trying to see where my ear starts so it starts about here so i would make a slit over here and then my ear starts around here so i'd make another slit over here if you guys see me looking here it's because my mirror is here so i'm gonna put it here all the way behind behind the ear just like that and we get rid of this little piece there oh finally it's done guys you don't have to worry about the noise anymore okay let me tuck back this hair again cool do, 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 do. Do, do. here we go all the way till we get rid of the lace so that piece of lace is one we're getting rid of as well and then you just make sure that that is accurate make sure that your ears are out i'm going to um, take this clip and clip more of the baby hairs inside because now i am going to be cutting the front part of the lace off Also, while we're here, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but on, on my Instagram, I posted like a, a poll question type thing, asking what kind of content you guys want from me this year. So comment down below what kind of content you want to see. I remember I used to do a lot of beauty content when I first started out, and then I kind of got into vlogs, and I got carried away in doing vlogs, and then I kind of stopped doing the beauty content. That's why I wanted to start off the year with some beauty content and see how you guys like it, you know. So you don't want to cut your lace in a straight line. So I'm going to kind of be doing a, a ziggity zaggity line. are going to secure this wig so what i'm gonna use to secure this wig i don't know how i should wear this i'm gonna be using got to be glued blasting free spray so when i was watching tutorials um i saw people using glue dryers i saw people using all kinds of glues and stuff like that but like for my people that are on a budget um i use i just use the the blasting free spray i don't even use a blow dryer i kind of just wait for it to dry and then i stick it down um so that's kind of what i'm gonna do now so i'm <laughs> i'm gonna clip this hair back again and then i'm gonna spray this all over where i want my hairline to be spray it all over like that so I'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little. So you don't want it to dry completely because you want it to dry um, with the wig on it. So I'm just going to be securing this wig onto the glue like this. Like that. There we 
sugar and then in no time you can even feel like how it kind of sticks to your skin like here in the front there's some areas that didn't glue properly I'll just roll it back spray a little and then glue it back on like this it is a hundred percent possible without a blow dryer I will now need to identify and take out any baby hairs okay so I'm definitely going to be dyeing the roots in the future but for now this is what we're rolling with so I'm just gonna have to clip this all over again so I'm gonna just brush them out with my uh, baby hair toothbrush you want to make sure you have baby hairs all around and then I'm just gonna cut and now that I have identified my baby hairs I'm kind of just gonna measure how long I need them and then cut off any excess So um, I'm going to be using this Birdie Curl Activator Gel with Placenta. It's a really, really affordable gel. I think I've mentioned it before. I got it for less than 30 bucks and it lasts a really, really long time. It's perfect for lace wigs because the texture of the hair is really, really thin and silk. But if you're doing it for your natural hair, it's not going to work out that great. After I've laid my edges, um, I'm going to go back in with this lasting free spray and just kind of go over the edge just like that. And then kind of just let that dry. So I'm just going over it with my finger just to make sure that all the surface areas are covered. And I'm just making sure that gets dry. So while the edges are drying before I style the hair, I'm quickly going to do my makeup. Um, this is going to be a time lapse of my makeup because I don't want this beauty video to be too long. You know, I'm just, I'm just getting back into the beauty videos. I don't want to make them too long and bore you guys. So enjoy this time lapse of me doing my makeup. So this is the finished look. I definitely feel like I am going to dye the roots in the near future um, just because I want more of like a contrast um, but all in all I love the quality of the hair, quality of the lace. It was very seamless and easy to put on so if you guys would like to get your hands on one of these please refer to the description below um, where all the details you need are going to be. If you guys like these type of videos, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below um, what kind of other videos you like to see beauty related. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.